Dean, you inspect these pieces of broken metal, which, although old, it doesn't seem as weathered as it should be. So something must consistently be protecting it from exposure to the elements in some way. Broken in two places. It's a long, narrow piece. Curved, blunt and rounded. You find that at one end is something like a join or a hinge, indicating it to be part of a larger construct. And snagged in the hinge is a thin fibre of thread. Short and black in colour, but there nevertheless. The other thing is that this is in the shape of something that would protect something or things beneath it. Not quite like teeth, but since it's much longer than that, it's in the shape of a C or a J. So it's much more like a bone, like a rib cage. Exactly like a rib cage from a, a metallic person. Saffron, you take a look at Garrick and can tell that there's something wrong with his leg, although you're not sure whether it's one or both legs that have been affected. One of his hands have also been injured. You're not sure if his knuckles were doing the hitting or taking the hits. You do know he needs urgent medical attention from professionals or things could get ugly. Uh, maybe a splint might help? There's a military hospital in town you've been to a few times, whether it was you or the people you report to, or even some of your previous quarries, to get patched up, and might be appropriate here to leave him at. Guarded but familiar with you, you don't foresee any trouble admitting him there, especially after he was just attacked. In fact, that would be a perfect place to reconvene and update your loosely assigned CO, Sergeant Benton with your findings. Wait, says Garrick to both of you as you get up. I saw them. They had another girl with them as prisoner. I don't know who she was, but she was in army gear. No, there were two in army gear. One boy, one girl. Dean, knowing Garrick, his descriptions of a boy and a girl would just as soon mean man and woman. But of course they could also be teenagers or even children. The girl was already tied up and the metal people were dragging her with them. The boy was walking freely with them but he was rubbing at his wrists as if they had been tightly wrapped with something before or were bruised earlier, if not both. There was one more girl with them, not in a uniform, but in dark trousers and a flak jacket, who seemed in charge, bossing everyone what to do. And then the rest, the rest were robots. What would you like to do? If you want to attempt something involving, I don't know, driving a vehicle, that would be a coordination plus transport role. 